Hi, I'm Craig Sigel, mental toughness trainer. If you are a baseball or a softball player from about the age of 10 and through high school, boy or girl, this video is for you. Listen, right off the bat, no pun intended, I'm not going to pretend to know everything you're going through right now at your age. You know, it's been a long time since I was your age and I'm totally not hip to your age group's interests and tastes. I don't pretend to know any of that. However, I have had hundreds of athletic kids just like you in my office and in Skype and FaceTime sessions all over the world. I've heard their stories and about the pressures they face on and off the field. And what this quick video message for you is all about is simply this. If you know that you have more talent and skill than is showing up for you when it's game time, then this message is for you. If you know you play much better when you are confident than when you're tense or nervous up there, then I have a solution for you. If you want more playing time, then this message is for you. You can do this. You can be more confident. You can get more playing time by playing to your potential in competition more consistently than you've been so far. Now, I've been helping kids like you for, for years now. And first off, I call myself a mental toughness trainer, and yeah, that's what I do. And maybe your coaches or your parents talk about needing mental toughness or mental training or something like that, but here's the real deal. Those are just words. I specialize in helping young athletes just like you bring the way they play their best, like they do in practice and scrimmage games when there's no pressure, to the game when there is pressure. I solve that problem, I get results, period. Interested? Now I played baseball growing up, I still play softball to this day, and I use my strategies to lead my team in batting average as the oldest player on the team at 54. I've worked with a number of pro, pro players. I know baseball and softball very well. So get this, if you play as well in pressure games as you do in practice or scrimmage games, then frankly you don't need me and I congratulate you. But be honest with yourself for a second here. If you don't bring the skills that you've spent countless hours practicing fully to the game, or you lose them under pressure, or you get way too tense or tight or lose your confidence, or your coach says you, you need to be more aggressive, more powerful, then you've got a few options. One, you can try to take the advice of parents and coaches who say you need to believe in yourself and tell yourself you're a champion, blah, 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 right? See how that works for you. When it doesn't, come back to me, I'll be here for you. Two, you can work harder and longer at practicing your skills like all the adults tell you to do. Do that. See if it makes you any less nervous before a game when you're going against a tough opponent. See if that keeps your confidence up after you strike out with runners on base and let your team down or, or as a pitcher after you get a couple earned runs scored off you. And when it doesn't, I'll be here for you. Option number three, you can do the I'm fine routine. What does that mean? Well, it means when your mom or dad notices that you don't play in the game like they know you have the skills and have seen them, and they suggest to you that maybe you should study the mental side of the game. Or get a sports psychology book, or maybe they've even suggested my mental toughness training courses. And when they do that, you say back, I'm fine. Why do youth baseball and softball players say, I'm fine, and reject those suggestions? is because they think that if they need some kind of mental fix or coaching or something like that, that it's a sign of weakness or that there's something wrong with them or they're broken or they maybe just don't want their parents to meddle in their stuff and they want to figure it out on their own. And I can totally respect that, but it's not going to solve your problem. You won't figure it out on your own. You've already tried all that. You won't grow out of it either. In fact, if you're struggling, like I've mentioned, it's probably going to get worse. In fact, many kids end up just quitting, saying it's not fun anymore. And yeah, that's true. Playing poorly, sitting on the bench all the time, getting yelled at, that's no fun. 
but it doesn't have to be that way for you if you'll just let me help you. And by the way, yes, I have trained a number of college and pro players. Like I said, I can't mention their names because of privacy issues, but here's the deal. Top athletes in all sports do this kind of work for their game now here in the 21st century. Watch the video below that I have and see if you still think working on becoming mentally tough is a sign of weakness. These guys and gals all have mental coaches now. Listen, here's something else. I have had deep conversations with hundreds and hundreds of athletic kids about their struggles. I know about this part of your life as a teen or preteen baseball or softball player and what you're going through, what works and what doesn't. So back to option three for a second. I'm fine. Where you hope this problem just magically goes away by itself. Sorry to say, it doesn't go away on its own. It gets worse. Or maybe you really are fine with hitting 50 points lower in your batting average than you're capable of. Or maybe you're fine with not getting more starting time or coming home after games frustrated and mad at yourself or blowing your chances to come through for the team in the clutch. Maybe you're fine with your friends on the team moving to the next level without you. If that's you, good luck to you and I wish you all the best. I've got some free tips on my site that might help you some. Go for it or don't, it's your choice. But if that's not you, and you're really not fine, let me connect the dots for you about reality here. As a hitter, will you make good, good contact more often when you feel confident about your game at the plate or when you're not? As a pitcher, how many times has your confidence taken a nosedive after you've given up a couple hits or walks and then you can't get your control back? and you feel like you have to strike everyone out to make up for it and you lose your cool. It's that simple. I can give you that confidence if you do what I teach you. It's all there for you in a series of 10 minute videos and some audios you can download to your phone. You can go through it a little at a time or go all out. There's no reading. It's all video. So easy to watch a video on a car ride or just before you fall asleep at night or whatever. And I know you probably watch many, many videos for fun on YouTube or whatever, so don't tell me you don't have the time. So why wouldn't you do that to improve your skills under pressure? Unless you just don't care about getting better, especially in competition. Now, for real, it's actually a sign of weakness to think I'm fine and not seek out help when you aren't fine. Remember that for your entire life. One last thing. Maybe you don't believe me about all this stuff, and I get that. You don't know me. You know, the best thing I can do for you about all that is to just show you people like you, kids, who, and parents who have used my system and methods to get results. Right here on this page. Check it out. When you are ready to start playing in the game like you do in the cages and in practice, then baseball, softball, mental toughness training is waiting to turn you into being fearless at the plate and on the mound and in your life outside of sports. Click the button below to get started and I'll see you on the inside. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.